guys, what's up? Today I am going to show you how to make Siri keys um, with Assistant Connect work forever. So, um, first of all, you're going to have to have um, iFile, SB Settings, and Assistant Connect. Now, if you do not have Assistant Connect because you're on 5.1.1 and it does not let you download it, then the solution is to go to, uh, sorry about this. Alright, so you're gonna load up. I'll have this in the description. I help us I help us stop blogspot.com. Then you're gonna scroll it all the way down. So you scroll all the way down from the top. You scroll all the way down from the top and then <clears throat> right here it says download assistant connect here below. You click on it. This is for um, your device. This is for the 4S, for 5.1.1. This is for any other device that you're trying to get it on. So just click the link. And it sent you to. send space and then you click click here to start download <laughs> and then you're gonna see it, assistant connect underscore one dot zero dot zero dot deb and you're gonna click open an iFile and then this is gonna open up I have like three copies of this already but so you see it right here um, and then that page pops up you hit installer I'm not gonna do that again but yeah, you hit installer and then hit done and respring your device. Come back into your device and you should see an application, Assistant Connect, unless you had it already. Now you're gonna have S iFile, SB Settings, and Assistant Connect. Now, in order to get the key to work forever, this is where you have to go onto your iPhone 4S. So, as if as you know, unless you don't, when you use Assistant Connect 4S, you open up, open it up. And then use Siri while it's open. Wait for it to respond. Hit the home button, and it goes back to the app. And you hit email Siri data. Now, before you do this, if you want to get it to work forever, go to settings on your iPhone 4S. General. Date and time. Now, this step is very important. Turn set automatically off, and then hit set date and time. Now you're going to want to change the year, or however long you want it to work I would say maybe one year at tops so just change it to 2013 instead of 2012 so then it will be June 15 2013 the key will expire at 723 so I'm not going to do that because uh, this is not my iPhone 4s so turn set automatically back on all right, then you're gonna when it says is so then your phone or whatever should think it's the year 2013, and then you're gonna go on your iPhone 4s and do Assistant Connect, open up Siri, obviously not the 4s version, but wait for it to respond, and then there should be an email Siri data button email it to yourself and then open up that email on your iPhone 4 or iPod Touch or whatever you're getting it on. I actually don't have it set up through email. I have a Dropbox and <clears throat> you click on the arrow and hit Assistant Connect. It should say file loaded successfully and then it should say it expires uh, whatever day you're doing this. My, mine would say June 15, 2013. Then you go into iFile, it's the last step. So uh, go to bar, mobile, library, go down to preferences. And we're going to find com.apple.system.plist, the file that everybody uh, dislikes. But this time it's going to help us. And you're going to hit accounts, uh, dictionary, and then valid expiration expiration that's what you're gonna tap and you're gonna make that match the date 
of the key if it doesn't already. So if it doesn't already match the date you're doing it, or that date you set it to, say, so it would say, um, June 15, 2013 there. Mine says March 22nd because I obviously didn't do this today. But, um, yeah. So just make sure it matches. If it doesn't, then change it to match it. And then hit done. Maybe if you want to, you can respring. You don't have to. But then you come back into your device. And if it doesn't work, or, you know, doesn't work, then you're going to go to SP settings and go to mobile substrate add-ons. Turn off spire hooks and spire injector. They should off be off already, but yeah. spire hooks and spire injector need to be off. And then if you respring and it still does not work, come back into mobile substrate add-ons and turn off can you Siri me now. And then respring and it should work. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. How to get keys working forever. Well, not basically not forever, but for a long time. But, yeah, that's basically how to get the keys to work for a long time with the Assistant Connect. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you liked it. If, and if it was helpful, if you have any questions, please leave a comment or personal message me. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.